Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the clean plate node. So we're gonna jump into Fusion where we've got some green screen footage. Now a clean plate is basically the same shot minus your subject or actor or actress. So you can get a clean shot minus whatever you're trying to key out. So for example, if I have this footage and let's uh, make this two. And I wanted to create a clean plate so I could key out our little artist here. And sorry, this is just B raw footage, it's not colored or anything, so it's a little rough. I would get the same shot without my artist in it. So it's exactly the same shot, just missing our artist. So in theory, what we could do is we could take any keyer that's got a clean plate input, like the Delta keyer. And we could input our footage. And I'm not going over the Delta keyer today. I'll hit it tomorrow or the next day. And we input our clean plate into the clean plate slot. You can see we instantly have a nice starter key out of footage so it's just much easier than uh, starting a key from scratch so this is a much better starting point but what happens if you're like me and don't have time or oftentimes forget to get those clean plates what do you do well we could create our own clean plate and there's many ways you can create them in Photoshop and After Effects, or you, you, however you want. But Fusion has a specific node for creating clean plates. So let's search clean plate and input our footage. And the clean plate gives you two options to uh, create these clean plates. The first one being color. So if I just take my color picker and pick a color, it's kind of doing the opposite of keying because in essence, what we're trying to do is auto fill this information, but keep all the rest of the information. So it gets keyed up. So once you have your color, you can go in here and mess with your red, green, and blue channels. You can change your thresholds to bring your thresholds down or up. You can erode so it encompasses everything in the middle a little better. And if you need to crop, you can crop your left and your right, but we're not gonna do that because we want this information as part of the key plate, the, sorry, clean plate. So we're gonna leave all that, but you can uh, crop if you need to crop. You can grow your edges or you can just select fill. And down here, you've got the option to uh, change the entire sequence or hold the frame, meaning the entire sequence is going to process that data and get rid of it. Or if I just want to hold a single frame, I can either select what frame I want to hold or wherever I'm at is going to select that frame and it'll hold for the entire duration. Now, color works okay, but I find this ranges works much better. So the ranges method allows you to select a range of color and it'll bring it out. And again, you can change your red, green, and blue values as well as lock your color picking so you don't accidentally repick your colors. And you can play with the luminance values to, to change or bring in more data. You can erode, you can grow your edges, as well as cropping options like in the other part. And you have this autofill as well as the time uh, sequence and hold frame options. So once we have that, that's a pretty decent clean slate, but I can, I can already see there's a lot of noise and everything inside it that's not in our original image. 
So a lot of times a good practice is to take a blur, add a blur in there, and we can blur this up a little bit, but I like to do it once we uh, input it into our keyer. So if we look at our keyer, as soon as we plug this into our clean plate slot, we get a clean plate. And if we go back on our blur, we can change our blur to add or remove a little blur to clean that up. And we've got a nice starting point to finish up our keen and clean it up a lot more. So that is the clean plate node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.